All right, today we're looking at the D160 pin injection calculator for Aerospace PAL. It's under um, aerospacepal.com. It's under the members content and in the toolbox, the D160 toolbox. Uh, here you can see it first and foremost as D160 pin injection calculator. So if we look at what the calculator does, um, if given our requirements for D160, so for example, waveform 5A, pin injection, 750 volts open circuit, and 750 amps or short circuit current, um, we can determine what kind of TVS we need and what kind of series resistance uh, we need. So those are our inputs, the five inputs. You can see the waveform gets put in right here. Uh, your voltage open circuit and your short circuit current based on your requirements. And so for pin injection, usually you have two waveforms. Um, sometimes it'll be waveform 5A and waveform 3, and other times maybe it'll be waveform 4 and waveform 3. Um, you're going to want to want to analyze each waveform that you have. Next, you're going to look at your your working voltage for your TVS, what you can handle as far as a working voltage. And in this example, we have 33 volts, which is pretty typical for a uh, 28 volt open, um, let's call it an output or maybe even an input. And then um, you have your in series resistance. So up here you can see this resistance is in series with your TVS device. And so these other components, we're not gonna analyze, these are little um, RCs that you might or might not have in your circuit. Right now we're talking about the pulse resistor or your in-series resistor and your TVS protection diode right here. Now as discussed right now we're looking at waveform 5A and this is level 4 lightning so that's um, pin injection 750 volts 750 amps and we're looking at if we had or needed a 25 ohm resistor, we could tolerate that, and we needed a 33 uh, working voltage TVS. So then right away you can see your TVS options appear. These are your classic uh, TVS devices, your SMAJ through SMDJ, and then I also include your 15 kPa, 20 kPa, and 30 kPa. And right away you get a red, yellow, green score. Red being uh, it is underrated um, for the waveform and the requirements you put in. Um, so you can see we're calculating a TVS peak power required of 1400 watts peak power. Um, this SMAJ is able to handle 1000 uh, watts at that waveform. Uh, SMBJ can handle just over that at 1500 watts and a SMCJ can handle 3,500 watts. Now, anything within 20% of the calculated wattage or the rating is gonna be scored as a yellow. And that's based off tolerances that you can have both in the part and in the test uh, itself. Now this calculator takes it a bit further. Um, what it's gonna do is also give you resistor options. So again, this is that pulse resistor um, in series with your TVS. Now that typically has a voltage and a uh, peak power rating or it'll have a rating in joules. And for convenience sake, uh, the wire wound resistors here, these last three, are really rated in joules but I converted it to uh, peak power uh, just to keep it a little simpler. <clears throat> Those actually do not have a voltage rating based on their voltage gradient. Um, but here you can see uh, I'm using a high-powered uh, pulse resistor series from Vichet. Uh, I go anywhere from 0402 up to 2512, um, and these larger packages I would discourage against, but I put them in there just for analytical sake. Um, additionally, we're looking at uh, surface mount resistors in the WSC series, uh, 1 watt, 2 watt, 3 watt. Um, here you can see the voltage rating that it has, and these uh, are marginal on a voltage rating, you can see, but then in the 2010, you get to a voltage rating that's acceptable, but the peak pulse power is still uh, not sufficiently rated. So in this example of a 25 ohm resistor, we need to go up for this requirement up to a 
3 watt surface mount resistor. Now anything above this, so let's say a resistor is not uh, rated well enough. So for example, if we put 10 ohms in there, um, you can see that not even this 3 watt is rated high enough. In that case, you're going to have to go to probably an axial leaded part, or there's actually a WSN series, which gives you a little bit more bang for your buck. Um, but that's beyond the scope of this calculator right now. So if we just drop back to our test case, uh, 25 ohms, we can see that we would probably pick an SMCJ as a, uh, and the specific part, SMCJ33A or CA if you want bidirectional. And uh, we would need a WSC 3 watt resistor in series there. And the other thing you're going to want to do, since this is just waveform 5A, uh, that would be a B4 uh, rating for D160 Lightning. That would include waveform 3 at 1500 volts and 60 amps. And then you go down to your same selection. You can see, yes, SMCJ is rated for that waveform as well. And yes, 3 watt resistor would work for that waveform as well. So that just gives you a little example of how you can use this calculator and kind of manipulate the resistance and the working voltage and also take a look at your requirement to see where you stack up and what kind of protection is needed. Last thing I'll say is this calculator gives you a great baseline to start with uh, for your TVS device and your in-series resistor. Um, however, you should do a simulation of your circuit, and you can use uh, Aerospace Pals D160 tools, again, going to the indirect lightning LT Spice simulation example to do that. So thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.